thing isn't working? This? No? If people care about ports, then uh... It's so good and it kills you so weird. Uh, just to let everyone in the chat know that money match between Logos and whoever the Texas guy was, I hard for me, I just didn't get his name. Um, it's probably not going to happen because Crowmaster, Logos, and I are going to be heading to, uh, to uh, Northwest Majors uh, the same weekend that, that they're coming out to Utah, so uh, sorry to disappoint, but it's just probably not going to happen. Uh, I won't so uh, the way that logo is last week, it looks like um, Smooth's probably going to play Logos, and the way Smooth was playing last week was still pretty good, and he made it, he kept it close, and if Logos keeps his, uh, then you gotta get up, I think I like I just see my head hurts, whereas if Logos is, you know, playing well, he has the right mindset, there's not really much you can do about it. I mean, there are some things, but he's really difficult to play against. Uh, much like Commaster's Ganondorf, who bodied mine, Leprechauns, and Logos in secondaries yesterday. Uh, this Ganondorf? This Ganondorf is this Ganondorf is scary, dude. Now, we never we never tried playing Fox, Falco, or... We never tried any of our mains, except for... I think we played Luigi I did, I did twice. Luigi. I didn't do so much. Yeah. Uh, which is... I don't think it's a good matchup. The Ganondorf is just so scary. Like, he's... Like, three hits and you're at 60 damage, and then, like, the next hit, you're pretty much dead. Like, mm. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know, his spacing's really good, like, I think it's weird that he's good with, I mean, I think it's weird and he's not that he's good with Ganondorf, because he generally likes to be good with characters that can move fast, and he overwhelms you, that's how he plays. Right. Um, Ganondorf is very much a slow pace, like, super fat, slow, whatever, like that, that was the slowest thing in the world, but, um, he's very similar to Falcon. Is it Stamina? Yeah. <laughs> wow, did you see what happened there, Don? Um, he jumped toward Fable's shield and it looked like he was going to forward her. So Fable kept the shield up and he shielded the guy up. Yeah. Is this one yours? That was mine. That has my name on it. On the top of Saul. It looks like he spelled the S-A-W-L. Saul, yeah. Saul. <laughs> Saul. Saul. Um, but yeah, sorry, to go back for a minute, when uh, Commaster was doing, it looked like he was going to do a corner, and Fable still did it, the lowest upper I've ever seen, and Fable just kind of like, had his shield in the right place at the right time, so he didn't get hit by it, he didn't get shield poked. Ooh, the forward shield did 13 damage. Commaster typically, I was just going to say he doesn't drop death guards. Goodness. Um, <laughs> Like, I, didn't, I didn't think you would be able to do it. Like, like I said yesterday, when we were playing Final Master, um, I didn't want to try my Fox and Falco, or like my Sheep, because A, um, you know, if I win, it's like, okay, that's good, but it's going to feel a lot closer than this. And if B, if I lose, I'm just going to feel bad. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, to kind of give myself a buffer. Uh, I feel like I could have done it with probably Falco, probably the easiest one out of those. But uh, that didn't mean I was eating. And we were just having fun last night, so it was, just good. It was all good fun. We should be dead. Good, not good enough spacing on that forward smash. Good DI from Commaster. He should be dead, but no. Fable gave up the, the neutral way too fast. Tipper forward smash. That was a good ledge guard sequence from Fable. Which, you know, Fable is not one to drop ledge guards. So. Unless he's playing me. And then he's like, can't hit one. Uh, no, in all seriousness. Oh, 
Scoutmaster tried to, I think he tried to do, um, like, he tried to space his shield around so that when his shield got hit, he would do an aerial, but he did it too soon. Um, I don't know, it's probably wrong. You can do the S, the, what S factor to Mutant King and Genesis on the stage, which is when they're below you, and like, you're trying to, they're trying to trick you with their LPE, you can do a drop back air, and it'll trade in such a way that Marth has lost his jump and is like, super far below his thing, so it always kills. And Fox's recovery is so good, he always gets back air. It's like, right there, you can drop off back air, and Fable has to up B, because if he doesn't, he's just dead anyway. And if it trades with the back air, then... Yeah. I think I think people are just not um, good at, at getting the mix up. Like everyone on, on day you know day one melee, the classic edge guard was always you know they're gonna go to the edge, so they'll cover the edge. Or like day one I guess was they're gonna go to the stage, so I'll, I'm gonna like just shut them out. And then once you played more, you realize that when people angle from the edge, they're always angle from the edge, angle from the edge. Um, but you can catch it every time. So the mix-up is now, like, you can angle to the edge, you can go straight at them, you can go above them, and it's much harder to edge guard that. Fox is the best at mix up more about people think that You can't cover both far and away. Or, uh, I think honestly, the, there's been a lack of, of certain characters. Like, there's not many really Marths, you know, you, you realize. And Marths and Sheiks in particular like, thrive on edgeguarding spaces. So, um, that could be another reason why people think Fox is harder to edgeguard now because they're not playing these characters. Or these characters aren't going to the tournaments anymore, you know, like Kirby Kaze retired. Um, the moon hasn't like seen the shine in a while. It's more more of these species and like you know like the drug fox. Where he's a, he's a falco or a fox, whatever he is now. He's more of just like his reaction time. Yeah. Oh, good up Ethan Fable to disrupt. I got reported this game if you watch this if you want some of the same person playing right now. Yeah. Let's start picking again. Yeah. Stammy's, uh, Stammy's a wily player. He'll move a lot. He'll move really fast, and when you hit him, he'll die. <laughs> so they're gonna continue with Marth, Marth Box. Um, Yoshi's going. You don't, yeah, I don't need that. It's still the biggest thing behind it is that it's still Calm Master and he's still very intimidating. Um, I I have played him in a Fox Ditto and it was in losers bracket like a, like a month or two ago and he beat me game one I beat him game two and then he switched to uh to Luigi because he was in losers bracket. So he didn't want to lose. Yeah, I think he's I think one of the people that Oh that beautiful tech. Commaster's surprised he got that tech. Can you see the look on his face? It was like a kid finding an extra present under his Christmas tree after he thought he opened them all. Oh he's dead. Yeah. That now seems Commaster's DI, he DI'd it in such a way that he tried to get the tech on the side platform. Unfortunately, he was a little bit too high. I think he. Oh, he's just he three stocked in that match. Yeah. So he, you're right, he had nothing to lose, but it was really fast. That's the intimidating part. Uh, you're gonna go to. Just play Bows. Just play Bows. Commaster's never gonna die. Why is he coming here? I don't think Fable cares so much about that as he does the money. I mean, he is 16. I mean, Fable, like half his allowance. Fable like has told me. A lot. Fable, oh, yeah. Fable also did something I asked him not to. I, I like really like I, I begged him. I was like, don't do it, don't do it. Fable went to the Lehigh Weekly against all of Blue Jay's wishes. 
Um, and he took first place. And you know what? You know who took second and third? Sutedo and Bill Miles on this guy. What was the bracket? How big the bracket? 13 people. Sometimes Fable looks like he's all about the money, or he just wants to play melee. Because, like, for me, when I play melee, I want to improve. I want to, I want to figure out stuff. Like a lot of friendlies, I'll try different characters. I'll try like spacing something else better, you know. And then in bracket, I'll just play. You know, I'll try to win, obviously. Um, and then during the match, I'll just try to do what I can in the match. And if I don't win, I don't win because I, I came there to win. And uh, I was not the best at it. Ooh, nice back air. Oh, the forward tilt. That forward tilt is really hard to play. The stinky leg, the downward angle forward tilt, it's really hard to hit. I, I don't hit it very often. I hit it last week on Um And it was the cause of death. It's just so good. It's like, but it is like super hard to pull off because you have to kind of. Yeah. If you think they're gonna. Typically, you do it. Yeah. Typically, it's it's like. Like right there, you try to do it. It's only when you think they're gonna up you to the, to the edge. Um, and you can time it as such where your forward tilt will hit it, but if, if you do it too soon or too late, if you do it too late, you won't. If you do it too soon, um, like the fire will hit the hurt box on the tip and you'll burn. Also, I don't know what happened. Thomas, you got pineapple? Yeah, it's the classic. Who lives in a pineapple under the stage? And then, uh, and then you just call out their name. It's Com Master. Yeah, it's Ammon. <laughs> Ammon does. That's death. Yeah. Box stuff smells pretty good. <laughs> but I don't know why Fable asks to uh, to play against the secondaries. I think I think he just prefers to play against Macy's rather than Luigi and Falcon. Like he just thinks it's more fun for him to play against Fox, I guess. It's true. But what's fun to him and what's fun to us is different because we're regular people and he's whatever it is. <laughs> oh, he I stand by this. Fable, Fable is okay tech chasing. He hasn't, every time Fable and Commaster played, like, uh, the only time Fable's beat him was in Winner's Side. In Loser's Side, Commaster still played Fox and he reset the record and won with Fox. In the Fox did it. Or Fox Mark, or whatever Fable played. Oh! The movement was so good, he's dead. It's not the Fable. But, Commaster. Mike Line, we're up. What's up?